Hi, greetings from the power station. Now, uh, in this week's episode, we've got Mary Gilly, who's come from Energy Local in Wales. And Energy Local is this really interesting thing, which is basically building uh, dynamic or as close to as is legally possible at this moment. They are building micro grids. Now, a micro grid is where you have a community energy project and the spill energy. So in other words, if like, let's say a school um, has solar panels on it at the weekends and in the summer, it produces more energy than it actually needs to use on site. So some of that energy spills out into the wider grid. What happens with what Energy Local do is, is that they take that surplus energy and they allow people who live very locally to that school to use it. Um, and this is really cool because like proper dynamic microgrids and like, like, you know, actually going off grid is illegal in Britain. Uh, but this is a way of sort of hacking into the energy markets uh, and allowing local people who don't have panels or, or even, uh, you know, who haven't got like, let's say, wind turbines to use that the, the energy which is being created and they get the energy cheaper than they would be paying from their current provider. And the school or whatever the, the community energy project is gets slightly more than they would be getting if they sold it into the grid. So it's a really cool hack into the energy system. And uh, I hope you really understand that. Uh, because um, it, although it was absolutely wonderful to meet Mary, I'm not 100% confident that, the, that it's clear uh, what Energy Local actually is. So that's why I wanted to just put this little preface on. So I hope you really enjoy the episode. Thanks so much for watching and uh, do comment. And, uh, you know, if, you're, if you enjoy it today, please do think about subscribing and telling a friend as well. OK, cheers. Nice welcome, that. Even that's convinced. Yeah. Yeah. That's Hillary over there. Hi, Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> this is Mary. Great. Oh, thanks for coming. Thank yeah. you. And um, well, uh, I, don't, I mean, I know I'm just like pushing you straight into it, but shall we show you what we're doing? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. Great. Well, basically, um, this this is the street. Hillary's yeah. made a, uh, well, a map a of, model. A model of the street. <laughs> Make it slightly clearer. Yeah. And so that's south. Oh, that's right. south. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so all of the roofs have south-facing okay. thingies. Pretty much south, well. yeah. And what we're doing is we thought until the weekend, we thought we were going to just try and bulk buy and get everyone to pay for their own solar. But then we realised that it's just like 26 or 27% of people in Walthamstow are in fuel poverty. That's never going to happen. And our goal is to get the entire street yeah. covered in solar if possible and get as many of these houses insulated then as well and ground turn our street which is a victorian terrace street into a kind of retrofit paradise you know <laughs> that's uh, that's the idea and then hopefully from there to uh to turn it into an energy local project yeah so we mm -hmm. want to hear a bit more about energy local in a minute and um and basically enact our own grassroots green new deal in the here and now is that right hillary yeah, and um, yeah, basically to do that kind of future street and whether it's, I mean, the way we're raising the money for it is now maybe not replicable, but it will be kind of a, a beacon for other people to mm. hopefully take on, you know, and governments to take on, on that challenge. And we've also been, and now got school, local schools involved to kind of expand the power station across the rooftops and that and Solar for Schools are working with right, us on, yeah. on and that. And that's great because, uh, you know, schools are something that, you know, it's the next generation and it's something people yeah. share. Also, you're supporting the school as well as individual households. Um, so, th yeah, that, that's a great place to start. And, uh, yeah, Solar for Schools can kind of do the headache work because, uh, you know, schools yeah, have just yeah. got so much on their plate. They think it's a great idea, but they've just got so many things to yeah. do that... Oh, it's really difficult for them to just do it themselves. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it is definitely, you're right, uh, it's one headache off our plate to get uh, to work with Solar for Schools because it, it seemed like complicated, you know, and the, like part of it seems to be about measuring the performance of all of the 
solar panels into the future and all the rest and of it. And they're excited by that they're bit, excited. which for us would be like, oh my God. Please don't make me measure them before I can solar panels into the future. Well, yeah, do this. It's, yeah. yeah, it's using people with people's yeah. skills in the right way. It's no yeah, free, yeah. yeah, pretending you can do everything because, yeah. We, and that's what the Green New Deal should be. Yeah. yeah. About like, uh, engaging all sorts of different people with skills into solving a huge problem, basically. So yeah. that's yeah. good, isn't it? Oh, it's really nice. I mean, you know, the idea kind of you're bringing your kind of art skills into it as well, because I think for too long, the power has been kind of this thing outside sort of the rest of life, as it were, and you just switch the light on yeah. and you don't really think about it. And there's something out there. Um, so kind of to bring it back into uh, everyday life for people come more aware of it they think about when it's coming they think about how they use it but also that it's kind of it works the other way around as well that you're using your skills to fund it mm. and create that for other people it kind of then it's kind of a, it's it's a nice circle then so yeah I think that's that's really great um. yeah so we've just got the challenge of raising all that money but I suppose it and just making it really clear to people what then that would mean, particularly around the energy local club and how people on, would that be then so people on the next streets could still, with even the street without the full on yeah, solar panels could they participate? Could, they could benefit as well. So uh, yeah, or people who paint, maybe they've got a north facing roof and they haven't got a south facing roof or they've got the dormer window or whatever yeah. on the south side. Um, yeah, it does sort of democratize, democratizes a bit. Um, and uh, yeah, it means that if you're using electricity, you can participate yeah. both in terms of getting a benefit, but also feeling that you're kind of doing your bit as well. Yeah, um, and that's, so that's the same around the school communities as exactly. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's really so nice. So we don't even know lots of we know we know we know people who've expressed their interest already yeah. when we were thinking about bulk buying, but we also don't know how many are council owned. Not even the exact figures about rentals, but anyway, we mm. that. We'll, it was just great to start the ball rolling mm. and start to talk to more and more people on the street and realise how different everyone's rooftops are. Uh, yeah, even though they're we're kind the of same. the same, but they're different, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. And, but that's kind of that's such that's such a typical street in Britain, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Exactly. Every street's like this. So yeah, just showing what you can do and the kind of higgledy piggledyness that we have in Britain is 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 great. Because yeah. um, yeah. what do you? Th I mean, this might be an aside because a lot. of people think that the you know the solutions are or like when people talk about solar particularly they think talk about solar farms and the, you know get the land use of that and that's uh, kind of relatively easy cheap land but I always think that this, the cities are just such a energy platform yes absolutely I mean the, the, we do have so many rooftops we have you know and obviously these are individual ones in some ways that's harder to do because each one's got an inverter and you've got to get yeah, scaffolding yeah. and everyone's different but, but there's so many larger roofs, so you know, schools, um, community centres, blocks of flats, and I suppose what we're really trying to do with energy local is maybe what's going on underneath that roof doesn't actually use much electricity, mm, but the yeah. people around um, it will be. So it's allowing those people to get a benefit directly if they're using the power when it's being generated. They can agree yeah. a price so that the solar panels get more um, income, but they also get a benefit from it. And then it feels an awful lot more real. Yeah. And people also just start thinking an awful lot more about when they're using power and how much they're using yeah. power. Going to everyone on the street to explain energy local, what's your like energy local pitch? You know, imagine a school down the road, you put solar panels on the roof of that school. Yeah. There's an awful lot of time when that school won't actually be using that power during the weekends and summer when it's going full blast. Yeah. So it means that everybody in the street can get a benefit. So if they're using that power when it's being generated and the school isn't using it, then they can agree a price for that power. So that's higher than the school would um, get to be able just selling it to a supplier, yeah. um, but it's lower than the domestic price for power, so it's kind of a win-win on both sides. And it means everybody can join in. You don't need to have the money to put solar panels on your own roof. You can still contribute, you can help the school. So it saves people money, particularly people um, who are in fuel poverty. You're saying, you know, 26% of people in fuel poverty, that's significant. You're using your washing machine now. If you're in an energy local club and it was a really sunny day, then you'd want to use it in the middle of the day and yeah, use that yeah. local solar power. So it does make people think about when they're using power yeah, and how really much. Oh, that's exciting then. The energy local club is open to the wider community. 
Yeah, to... it's dictated about where the wires go. From a school, it's likely that sort of the streets around school will be connected together. Oh, but right. generally, it's where people think of as their community. The energy crisis has really shown why we need things like Energy Local, because people are at the mercy of global energy prices. That's really remote and quite frightening for people, so it just gives people a little bit of an element of control over their bills and it brings it back to local as well. You know, actually on that big macro scale, it shows that what we can do locally actually can have an impact as well. This could be a solution to the energy crisis. Like, if, if government were to put this stimulation into everyone's uh, street across Britain, like properly just take care of insulating everyone's house and adding solar panels, and then recouping the investment from the sun itself, basically, from the energy that will come down. We can't get all our energy from solar, but do you think that this could really scale up? If we're going to solve our energy crisis, we're going to have to do things at lots of different scales. Mm. So we're going to have to do it locally, and that's going to provide part of the solution. So one of the really important things is to get diversity. So we need mm. wind farms, we need hydro, we need tidal, we need solar, so that we've got that diversity. And that also means we've got lots of different options as well. But all these things are, you know, part of a solution. Mm. Checking you all, all right. OK, and hope Mum's all right. Hope, yeah, get better soon. OK, it's all right. It's all right. Often, um, so central government, they're looking for kind of one, <laughs> one sort of golden bullet that will yeah. solve all their problems and I say well there isn't one I might have a quiver of silver arrows and we've got to use them <laughs> in different nice. combinations oh, sorry. Sorry. but there isn't yeah. one solution that's just going to solve all our problems idea, really. it just doesn't work yeah. like that yeah, unfortunately yeah. well thanks Mary no well thank you yeah. thanks to it's not really nice to see the area kind of yeah fit actual you know face yeah, to description yeah. etc yeah I've learned a lot about what's going on it's really impressive yeah I like the the mixture of kind of the art approach. What did you think of, like, what do you think of the, uh, do you think it's possible to do the street in one go? Don't know if it's ever been done anywhere yet. <laughs> it'd be nice to be a first, wouldn't it? Yeah, um, yeah it'd be nice to be a first. Um, it's hard to think why somebody would say no if you're offering them solar panels. Yeah, um, maybe some will. Possibly. Yeah, and there some might be some no, people. It'd be interesting might, to see, yeah. Yeah, it might not be possible to contact everyone. Yeah. Some people might be dying. Some people might be getting a divorce. Some people might be, I don't know. Oh, Bermuda. the landlord has just kind of disappeared yeah. off the face of the earth or whatever. But yeah, it'd be really interesting to see. Um, Someone might be like dead inside their house, <laughs> you know, from. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, right, bye. 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 I really oh, hope yeah. that you've enjoyed our episode today. Um, if you have, please do click like on it. It really helps us. Leave comments. What did you think about Mary from Energy Local? Did it all make sense? Uh, is there anything we could do better? Uh, please do comment, uh, you know, uh, particularly about what you think of the Energy Local project. And if you've enjoyed today's episode, think also about subscribing to the channel. And if you can, uh, support us, support the project at membership dot power dot film forward slash enroll e n r o l and you can join our, us at the book club which we do once a month with amazing uh, authors and we also have a power hour each month where we get together we discuss the progress of the project which way it's going uh, and we also get uh, amazing activists and thinkers involved in those power hours as well so it's all lots and lots of cool stuff happening thank you for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one